Kakadosh, we just wanted to continue with the idea that we started yesterday, which is basically the concept of Emunan Bitachon. Just to make a very short summary of what we spoke about, we said, Bechol Drachech Adareu, which means Rabbi Yunai explains, we based it on the Pasuk before as well, that in every single action that we are going to do, we should pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and have the bitachon, the trust that it's going to come out well, but we have to pray to Him that it should come out well and not to take anything for granted. So we brought the example of if you're going to the bakery, but that's something mundane. You're going to the bakery, you obviously want to buy, whether it's bread or any baked goods, they obviously want to sell it to you. If you have the money in your pocket, so now you don't even think twice. Why? Why should I even pray? But no, you should even pray for that as well. Now we're going to focus on another two aspects. Number one, say Chachamim that even in a mitzvah, we have to pray. We actually bring this as a proof because we say in the tefillah, Na'avat olam in the morning, Va'er enenu b'toratecha v'dabek li b'mitzvotecha. So we're praying for the mitzvah. But now why? Why, do, why should we pray in order to fill the mitzvah when we want to. So he gives an example for Friedlander. He says, let's say I want to buy an etrog. So I'm going to go and I want to buy a beautiful etrog. So 100% at the beginning when I'm going to go, I should pray that I want to buy a nice one. Mehudar, I'm going to find a nice one. Fine. But even when you find it, it doesn't finish there. Why? Because we still need the siyata dishma to fulfill the mitzvah. How do we see that? Many times it could happen, we bought it, and all of a sudden it'll fall, it'll break, something will happen, we won't be able to do it the first day, the second day, something. And therefore you see that even doing a mitzvah, a person, which means we should come, we should try to become closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The next one is even a bigger chidush. Bechol means even at a time when we do an avera, we should know HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What does that mean exactly? Listen to this Gemara. The Gemara in Berachot, Samech Gimel Amudalev says, Darash Bar Kapara. Bar Kapara is expounded, and he said as follows, Ezohi parasha ktana shekol gufet Torah tulim ba. What is a parasha? That the entire Torah is dependent upon this parasha, which means that the entire Torah is based upon what we're saying here, upon this parasha that we're dealing with. It says, you know which one it is? It says, with every single action that you do, you should recognize that Kosh Baruch Hu, recognize our Creator. He says, What does that mean even for an Avera? Which means that even if a person is going to be doing an Avera, it could happen that in a certain sense, he's becoming closer to a Kosh Baruch Hu. Even though it doesn't make sense, he's coming further away, he's doing an Avera. But he says, why? Teda, the proof. The Amre Inche people say that Ganava, Afum Khatar, Makhtar, Tarachman Akaria. The Ganav, the thief, even when he's going to be at the entrance of the cave, which means he's the entrance of going in or coming out to steal, he's going to be calling into the name of Akosh Baruch Hu, which means that he himself knows that at the end of the day, he needs his success. And he's going to pray to God, which means even though on one hand, and obviously we're not justifying the thief, he's doing an avera, he's stealing. However, though, what we must understand, though, is, is that it's not just that he's stealing, but he's still praying to Hashem. And therefore, even in that, he's coming closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which means Bechol Drachech HaDa'eu is in every single type of an action that a person is going to come and they're going to do. So one second, so if he's coming closer to Hashem, so how's he stealing? So Rav Yisal Salanta comes and he says an incredible Yisob. He says a human being, many times we live with contradictions. What does that mean we live with contradictions? He says we could be stealing on one hand and going against the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. However, on the other hand, we're coming closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And therefore he says a person could be a tzaddik de chassid a righteous person and a pious person who built Ozman in the exact same moment, he could be a rotzeach, ganav, umushchat. He could be a murderer, a thief, 
and somebody that was just corrupt. Why? Because people come and they live with contradictions. And that's so important that we have to actually realize it to ourselves about not living with contradictions, especially in these time of age. It comes out that now after actually understanding all this, that the yikar of the bitachon in a person, meaning when we are going to utilize this bitachon, is always in small little things. Why? Because every single person is going to have bitachon nakosh for who is shalom of something which is going to change radically their life. So it's going to be 100% only in the small things. And Rav Dessler gives a beautiful mashal. He says, imagine right now a person has a headache. What's the first thing that they do? They take an Advil, take an aspirin, whatever, Tylenol, and that's it. If they have fever, so nowadays, chas shalom, it could mean other things as well. But usually, what is a fever? So fine. So maybe they'll go to the doctor. What happens if it continues? After a little bit of time, it's not enough anymore going to the doctor. They're going to find a professor. They're going to continue going and looking into it until the specialists, they want to find out what's going on. Until finally, chatz shalom, if it comes to a time when they're going to go and they're going to say, listen, we apologize. There's nothing what to do. All of a sudden, a person says, ah, en lanu elisha, en elu we only have our father in heaven. HaKosh Baruch Hu, please. And we start sending out messages and we start telling people, please pray for them and do all these things. Says of Desser, why did we wait until the end? Why when the first moment when our head hurt, why didn't we already start praying to HaKadosh Baruch Hu? Now we're going to say, maybe you don't need to. So listen to this. Shulchan Aruch. And this is basically based upon Gemara Berachot, Rav Samech Hamud Aleph. So the Gemara says, Anichnas Lakizam, if you're going to come to Blalet or do any type of a Procedure. In Shulchan Aruch and Siman Shlamet Sif Dalet, Misha brother also says it. Any type of refuah, any type of work, we're talking about a cure thing, anything to do with health. He says you're supposed to say and pray. Which means right now a person has a headache. A person is going to take a vitamin. Instead of coming and saying, this is so natural that I'm going to take a vitamin and take it and then that's it. Or it's natural. If I have a headache, I'm going to take an aspirin and it just goes away. One minute. Stop. Yehi ratzom milifnecha should be the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that this pill is going to be for me a rifua. Why? Because what I just did was is I just realized that now it's not the pill that's doing anything. Because how many times that a person could take a pill it's a belief that doesn't even have an effect on the human being. So therefore, what is it? We're putting our emunana kadosh baruch hu that he is the only one which could help us. The pill is only the medium. Hakadosh baruch hu is the one that makes all the penetration. He's the one that does everything else, and that has to do with anything, whether it's going to the doctor. Seicha chamim even more. There in the halacha, it's brought down. We're going to count our money. Imagine right now. I already went, I made my money. I have a whole bunch of stack of dollar bills here. Hundreds, tens, twenties, five. I got everything. It's here. I'm going to pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When you start counting, right, before you start counting, you say, that I want that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you should send beracha in this money. Even though I have it here. But pray. Pray because they want that there should be beracha in the money. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu should multiply, that he should bring Berachah in it. And when you start counting it, Baruch HaSholeach Berachah Vakesav Azeh. Blessed is the one that he gives Berachah in this money. And this, in essence, is supposed to be how we're supposed to live our lives. If our lives were going to live in a way that in every single action, we are paying attention to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You know, the Ben Yishchai says that every single time when we come out of our houses, we're supposed to put our hand on the mezuzah, and we're supposed to say, Hashem yishmor tzati uwe'i lechayim mushalom me'atav adolam, which means the Kuzman who should watch over me when I'm coming out and coming back forever and ever. El Shaddai yivarech oti v'yitil n'rachamim. A Kuzman Baruchu should bless me and give me mercy. I remember when I used to live in Venezuela, every single time we used to actually come out of the house, we used to say this with a lot of kavanah. Why? 
because you're in a very dangerous place. You don't know what's going to be on the outside. So therefore, you come and you pray with Havana. You say, you should protect me. How, when was the last time that we've actually felt that way? Maybe it's before we're going on a very big trip. We're going away for a week. We don't know what's going on. Maybe. Maybe before a hurricane and people are running away. But do we do that every single time? But again, Bechol Derachecha Deo means that even in the smallest, minute moments, that's how we become closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And in essence, this is actually Shulchan Aruch. Shulchan Aruch Siman Resh Lamed Aleph in Yilchot Berachot says that Kol Kavanotenu Yu L'Shem Shemaim, everything that we do in the day should be L'Shem Shemaim. And he says, listen to this, Bechem Bechol Mashiyane Be'olam Azeh, anything that we're going to benefit in this world, Lo Yechave Lana Ato, we're not going to just have our own benefits, but rather to serve our Kosh Baruch Hu. As is already brought down, that in every single thing and every action that we do, we should know our Kosh Baruch Hu. So say, Chachamim, Kol Matzecha, Yudu Shemayim, everything should be Lishim Shemayim. For example, the Achila, the Shkia, the eating, the drinking, the walking, the sitting, right, the talking, everything that we're doing should be for our Kosh Baruch Hu. That if we're right now hungry, we're not just eating because we're hungry. We're serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Every single action that Misham even here brings down, he says that he saw on Shema Aseh, that before eating, they would actually even say this. They would say, I want to eat in order that I should be bari b'chazak, I should be healthy, I should be strong in order to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He brings it from the Chayadam, which means that it's not just enough. In every single action, we can make and build upon ourselves bitachon. We could build a trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu that all of a sudden we have emunah and everything that's going on. We don't turn without saying HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'll finish with a beautiful uh, short story that, I, that was actually very cute. That my chavruta, he went and he said that this is also how you educate your children as well. Why? Because every single time he would educate his children to pray to Hashem. Pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So he once... He went to his daughter. His daughter was looking for her shoes. And she couldn't find her shoes. So right away, the father tells the daughter, right, there's a small little tiny girl. He comes and he tells her, listen, did you, did you pray to Hashem right, to, to find your shoes? She said, Daddy, what are you talking about? I already did. But he, he doesn't know where they are. What does that mean? That means that you see that even a little child could become educated. That in every single action, Something everyone knows already that if you can't find something, everyone knows Amar Abib and Yimin, the big Chasegula, you put money in Bimim Balanes, and then you come, you say it's filah. But in every single action that we do, we could recognize our Creator. We could see Akadosh Baruch Hu. We don't have to wait for the big, huge things. In the smallest, minute things, even when we're doing a mitzvah, we're doing Chas Shalom, even in Avera, every single action that we're doing, we should understand that Akadosh Baruch Hu is surrounding us and we should pray to Him. Bezrat Hashem, in these difficult times, we should actually come and become closer to Him, start analyzing every action that we do to truly become closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to pray to Him. So that way, Bezrat Hashem, He'll be able to bring us the redemption. Have a wonderful evening.